CAT grade control uses three-dimensional computer-generated designs to guide earth-moving machines to grade. The operator can create simple three-dimensional level pads or surfaces on the grade control display. In this video, we will show the steps to create level pads with a known elevation or to balance the material available. We will also show the steps to create a sloping field with drainage to both sides and a sloping field with an embankment at one end. For level pads that have a specific elevation, you can set that elevation without using any type of reference mark. To begin, press the menu key and then enter the Select Design menu. You can choose to edit an existing level design, but in this example we will create a new one. The dialog that appears needs to know if you want to use an existing or create a new coordinate system. If you want to use a previous coordinate system, choose that option. Press the OK key and then enter the desired elevation for the pad using the arrow keys. Once complete, a name is created for the design. For level elevations, use the value of the elevation for the name. Remember that the OK key saves choices and the Escape key returns to the home screen. Check the grade where the material might balance. Instead of entering an elevation, press the Here button and the system will automatically enter the current elevation of the cutting edge. Save and escape to the home screen and move the most obvious cuts to the fills first. Turn on the mapping to determine if the material will balance. You can use the machine's increment decrement switches to change the design up or down until you find the correct elevation for that pad. Notice the cut and fill areas change to green, indicating on grade, to help with balancing the material. You can see how much you have adjusted the original elevation in the status bar on the bottom of the screen. Check what part of the blade is giving horizontal guidance. We will place that side of the blade on the center line of the field. In the design menu, we will make a new slope and select the Auto Create option because we have not been given a local coordinate system. Change the method key to display two point instead of point direction. Using the Here key auto loads the coordinates of the blade position both vertically and horizontally. Move the machine to the center line at the other end of the field. Press the key for point 2 and again use the HERE key to auto-load coordinates and create a straight line between points 1 and 2. The sports field needs a width, so we will use the cross-slope key to define it. Arrow keys and the tab key enter our cross-slope of 1% for both left and right. Notice the angle indicators change to represent either an up or down direction to both left and right. The swap key will change them if they are incorrect. Before we save this design, we want to modify the main grade down the center line so that there is no slope along the length of the field. Change the method key from two points to point and direction. The direction key displays the grade we measured. Tab to the grade field and either enter 0 or simply press the Level key. To verify the design, use the Cross Slope screen. Use the Edit key to correct or modify. For this next example, we need to grade an area providing drainage and controlling the spoil slope for consistency. This drawing depicts a rough outline of what we want for drainage. Begin with defining the transition line. As before, we enter the two points to get our direction and then modify to set the grade. We want a 2% downhill, so we enter negative 2% in the grade field of the direction key. We also want a 2% away from the spoil slope, so we will set our left cross slope to 2%. The right cross slope is our spoil slope of 20%. Return to home and use the cross-section view to determine if our design is correct. 
Notice the left and right cross slope directions depend on the order in which the first two points are selected. Edit the design if needed. There are many uses of CAT grade controls onboard designs. For example, using a combination of several design files that can be activated when you are working that section of the site would allow more variations. For intricate designs, it is more efficient to use design software such as Trimble's Business Center. However, Knowledge of using the onboard designs can save time and surveying costs for many projects. There are additional videos for operation of the grade control display. For full operational instructions, refer to the operational and maintenance manual provided with the machine.